National History Museum downtown Los Altos, which shows what Los Altos was like as it developed from 1907, which is, I believe, when they started, uh, Los Altos started selling plots here, through the development of the agricultural area, World War II, and the development of Silicon Valley. My grandparents originally came here in the early 40s because my grandfather, who had grown up on a farm in Ohio, wanted to buy a farm. He wanted to raise his kids on a farm. And so he left San Francisco and bought property in Los Altos so he could raise them on a farm. Well, the fertile land, this was the, you know, the greatest fruit drunk land in the whole country. You know, the apricots, cherries, almonds, just. It was called the Valley of Heart's Delight because of, in the spring the blossoms were, were so prolific that the special trains would come in from San Francisco to sightsee. Uh, yeah, I mean, you see pieces, you know, we live here on Hillview, close to the History Museum, and you can walk in there and see that, and you see in front of the library the apricot trees that are still there, and um, driving, even when you drive around Los Altos, you'll find an empty, you know, lot where there hasn't been a big mansion built and there's, there's orchards still. So you see, you still see remnants. Originally people came here to farm. Santa Clara County was known as the orchard capital of California. They grew apricots, nuts, pears, apples. Uh, well, this land was used for, uh, growing wheat, but then they found out that, you know, with just a little irrigation, they could grow uh, uh, fruit crops. So from roughly 1880 to 19, well, actually it was a little, it was a little World War II when, uh, when this place expanded so enormously. It was really pretty much just orchards, small orchards. You know, going back to Gilbert Smith's house, it's still there. The history house is still there. And seeing all the farm tools and the tractors and the implements that they had, going around our civic center, you still see orchards. They're prominently displayed up and down San Antonio Road, just as a reminder that this place had a purpose that wasn't related to the tech industry, and that purpose had been around for a long time before the tech industry developed. But we are so tech-dominated today that... People have to actually look for the reminders. Yeah, I mean, there you go through, tech goes through booms. You go through these big cycles where when we moved down here, we were in the middle of a, what well, we recovered from a boom, then we went into a boom, and then, you know, now we're in what some people say is another boom. So you see these big cycles in tech. And that's what makes it fun. Well, one thing was the railroad was out. Uh, more cars, more people. Prices go up high. Less orchards. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. There's hardly anything left. Nothing of any size. Up in the hills, there's still some orchards, but not to eat unless all those proper. First of all, the increase in the cost of living and the, and the housing, you know, exploded and it's very expensive to live here. But, you know, the, the schools are fantastic and, but, you know, it's just the hyper growth. So back in the 30s and the 40s, before the development of the tech industry, it was primarily Caucasians uh, with Japanese farmers, French farmers, uh, Spanish farmers, Mexican farmers. And after the development of the tech industry, you have people from India, China, Japan, all looking for jobs. And Russia, you come to Los Altos today and you'll hear five to ten different languages being spoken just downtown in our bedroom community, which is, uh, it's unique. Companies launched that started creating silicon chips that fed the whole computer you know, boom, and that's why it became Silicon Valley. And for some reason, they, they located here, and then you had all the entrepreneurial, you know, people coming out of Stanford and the, and the focus on education that really just fed that. Well, of course, the enormous growth of 
traffic mm -hmm. people. You know, uh, before World War II, uh, virtually everybody had at least an acre or two acres, three acres. Of course, once the subdevelopment came with the digital revolution, things were never the same. It's a lot more crowded. Rents, prices of houses, everything skyrocketed. I think if you're a 29-year-old engineer from Google and you live in Los Altos, you have no clue that this used to be an apricot field, right? But that's, you know, times change and they're investing their money in Los Altos. And if you look at Los Altos downtown, it's completely changed over the last five, six years. And that's a positive thing. It's from, from that money coming in from these tech companies and turning this community into what they want it to be. Do you think the people of Los Altos today know what Los Altos was like before Silicon Valley? I would think a lot of them don't. They came here after the development of Silicon Valley, so they really have no idea that Silicon Valley and Santa Clara County was really an agricultural area beforehand. They can see it by going to the tech museum, which talks about the development of the tech industry, but also, probably more importantly, going to our own history museum downtown Los Altos, which shows what Los Altos was like as it developed from 1907, which is, I believe, when they started, uh, Los Altos started selling plots here, through the development of the agricultural area, World War II, and the development of Silicon Valley. So our, our history museum is great for showing people what this place was like before Shockley Labs developed the transistor. I mean, you see a very big influence on international culture here, and a lot of that is Stanford and Cal, and you know, you have you have a lot of people coming from China and from India, you know, to come here to be professors and to get the quality education in Silicon Valley, and then they get hooked by the entrepreneurship and and stay. So it, it's it's a great thing because you have this complete melting pot of you know multicultures. Do you think most people who live in Los Altos today know what Los Altos was like before the tech industry? Probably most of them don't. Um, I mean, if they moved here after World War II, they would. They just wouldn't. How do you think these people could learn about what Los Altos was like before Silicon Valley by like visiting the museum? Well, they should go to the history museum, yeah. of course. Well, you know, they could. There are a lot of books you can read too. There's at least two big histories of Los Altos. I mean, it's important to learn the history of anything, right? Where you came from and where you live. And so the History Museum is a great thing, the library. And I think, you know, Los Altos as a community does a great job of trying to, trying to maintain that history. And they talk about that history. And, you know, we have the parades and all the, you know, formal things that we do in downtown that all, that all builds on that.